Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Production Line, where in the previous episode we were working on our mega factory thing. I think this is the mega factory this level is called, but yeah, the, the factory that's gonna eventually, maybe, make a car every, um... every 30 in-game seconds or every one out-of-game second. Um, but at the moment we're working for a, a slightly smaller goal. We're getting something operational so that we've got something to work on to do that. At the moment... The painting thing is done, cars are just building up there now, being sent from the uh, body assembly bit. Mm, looks like this one importer is not enough to deal with the uh, demands of this particular factory. That's not its not that much of a surprise. Let me just work on that. I mean, it's not that urgent at this point, because this is still all being initially assembled, but we'll put this in. Now, how should I connect it, actually? i just run it all along these... Uh, these belts here to this point and then just run something here. Maybe there's an awkward way of doing it, but I feel like making a square is nice. And then just have it connect up to a couple of important bits here. Like this one here. I don't know. It's not a good design. Wasteful. It's fine though, because eventually this will be torn down and replaced with a, a higher capacity system anyway, and then we'll have the infrastructure already in place or something. I don't know. It's working now. Okay, it's not quite working now. We're still... We're still getting there. Oh, and we've just finished researching the high output power plant, which is right on time. All we have to do now is research the spoiler, so that should be ready well in time for us to, uh... to actually want to assemble those. But now that we have that power thing going, what I'm going to do is buy this section here. And we're going to start plonking down power plants in it. Here it is. How's it look? Yeah, it's just uh, twice the size, uh, but it uses it uses less employees. It requires a significantly higher power supply. Interestingly enough, this power plant, or is that that's how much it actually supplies? Yeah, power supply rather than power demand. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, it provides a little more than twice the power, so it's better in terms of space, and it's definitely better in terms of employees. That's brilliant. Initial cost is more than twice, but overall. It's uh, it's profitable. Let me see, how do I want to place this? Let's work out. I should have checked the dimensions of this. It's too late now, I can't see anymore, it won't tell me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think I got that right, but I'm not sure. I'm going to place it this way along. And we'll just start plonking these down in great numbers until we start meeting our demand. And I'm, I'm going to cover that up and that'll be fine. Oh, wrong one. Looks like we need about twice as much as this. How are we doing now? Still need more. How about now? Still nope. Okay, so maybe this was... Maybe we need a larger area to have all the power plants. Yeah, now we're starting to meet demand. Let's plonk two more in. There we go. So yeah, this space is actually not going to be enough for the power production we need, it would appear. Because we've got a lot more to build yet. We can fit not many more in here. I mean, we instead of doing it this way, we can do it this way. And that'll get us a bit more. So we can do one, two, three, four, five... So yeah, that's not a big enough space. I guess we could also use that space, or we could we could have just started with that one, maybe. But we need that particular spot there for later. Anyway, I see money dropping and cars rising again. We'll drop the price some more. I mean, picky consumers wanting reasonable rates for their cars is ridiculous. Alright, um... What was I going to do? I feel like I'd forgotten something. I've all, what I was considering was pausing the game because money's definitely dropped. I was going to check the money. Oh yeah. That's dropping pretty rapidly. Hoping some of that is construction costs. I guess we can check. This isn't that useful a, a graph because you can't like... It has to be in the past hour only or the past 24 hours. Which is not quite what I'm looking for. Alright, well watch out, but I reckon that before we finish production, we're going to have to shut down. We're going to have to just pause the game for the last little step. But they're selling now. A bit. 
sort of. And research is very, very nearly done. But the progress bar, oh, the progress bar is down there now. That's oh, flashing. Yeah, that's all fine. That should be done shortly. And then once that's done, there's no particular reason to continue time running anymore. Everything will be good, probably. Right, so here's paint. That's all fine. Looking at it, we can probably manage, uh, like, as well as putting... Because we're, we're going to be making four times as many cars, but it's not going to take four times as many stations quite. So this is the space we'll use. There'll be a bit at the end here that we could potentially use for the engine assembly, which is actually doesn't involve that much. It's a very small thing. It's like, currently we need 2 2 one, two, two as the ratios for um, assembly stations, and that's it. We'll need to be more later. It'll need to be 65466 six, six when we're done. Hmm. Now he's doing a little bit of flashing all over the place, but I think that's all fine. There we go, that is done. So there's no particular reason to keep time running. We've done all the science. Let's once again sell these until the next update comes along that gives us more research to do and I'll wish I'd not got rid of them. Then again, their cost might continue. Oh, really? 10%, damn it. I'm going to sell these cars. 60 cars sat in the showroom is not acceptable. Oh, dear. All right, so... I think that's what we're going to do, because there's really not that much space here. I mean, there's a lot of space here. I reckon most of it will be taken up by electronics, but there might... This might be enough room for the the other stuff as well. Now, we'll, we'll set the stuff up here. We'll do engine assembly up in this bit. So let's open this up. All the different bits... These are all just the manufacture bits, which so far we're ignoring, but we'll, we'll get to them. We'll work it out. We'll factor it in a little bit later on. For the moment, I don't have them on the spreadsheet, so I can't be bothered, basically. Okay, let's work backwards with this one. So we'll start with exhaust. Where's exhaust? This isn't right. Am I looking at the wrong bit? Flywheel, starter motor. Valve. Did I open... Oh, I split this up into more sections than... It, yeah, that's what it is. It's that the, the colours are different in the factory. Like, I think it's these two bits here that we're about that, that make up this stuff. But the different colours, so I'd, I'd separated them into different categories. Accessories and engines are, do, like, they're categorised separately here, but they're actually in the same tab on here. That's what's thrown me off. Okay. So, yeah, this is actually the end of engine, and then it starts with accessories. Is what it's called, even though it includes wheels. Let me check this. What is... Oh, no, because the fin accessories is a thing. Now I'm just confusing myself. Have I ju I've just set up my, uh, my spreadsheet wrong. That's what I've done. Accessories start with lights. And electronics are part of accessories. I've just been a derp and I've separated engines in, in engines into two sections. I mean, it is two sections. One section is the actual engine bit. The rest is all the bits that aren't the engine. So the uh, the wheels, tires, brakes, steering column, steering wheel. That's where I got confused. And now I know why it was weird that they were called accessories, because they're not. How do we do this then? Should we still have them split? I'm, I'm going to keep them split. Because they're different things. Okay, so... Start with exhaust and work our way back. Oh, this is tiny. I think we'll build this here. Yeah, so exhaust, we need two of. One and two. And then radiator, we need two of. One and two. Valves, we need one of. So... One, and then starter motor and flywheel, two of as well. Starter motor, flywheel. These are all nicely arranged. No weird shapes to them. It's all just one, two, three, one, two, three on all of them. Very nice. Or one, or one by three rather than counting the individual, whatever. Right, let's get the conveyors. 
connect it up. And then these just go off in this direction. Resource importer here. Conveyor will just run it along this particular bit. Do something weird with this. There we go. That was a bad way of doing it, but whatever. That's all working. Then we'll connect up this all the way along here to something like there. And yeah, we want to go down to there and then merge to there. And here comes the fleet of seven cars from the first step of production. And then we'll get hit by another seven. That's quite cool. Waves of them. Alright, that's that bit done. So next we will do the... I don't know what to call these now. They don't have their own name. The the wheel and steering bit. I don't know. Right, let's let's do, go work from the back here as well. So we need three steering wheel ones. That's the only thing we need three of. Oh, I need to buy this. I forgot about that. There we go. Buy that. Well, that's weird. The floors are the same. I don't. I can't see the seam now. It's confusing and weird and scary. Also, let me check the money. Card. Oh, for God's sake! So many cars. That's it. I'm gonna. Why is it negative? I can't stop it being negative zero. Or whatever. It's fine. Now they're selling. We're actually selling them at a, at a reasonable price. At what people would expect. What has... What has happened to us? Right, steering wheel. Three of these. Right at the end here. Two. Three. Steering column. Two of those. One. Two. Fit the brakes. Two of those. And tires and wheels are also all two. So we get tires. Wheels. There we go. Nice and compact. Get the conveyors running along. Up to here. Then across this way. Do that, and then here, bit of weirdness, that's fine, I can just do that and that does that, that all works out nicely in terms of ratios or whatever, and these here, and this is ready to go on to the next thing, though at the moment we need to actually have some conveyors, we need an importer, where can we build one, there's a spot here, one over there, but that's a little bit far, so we'll do this one. And we'll delete that because otherwise it won't let me build it. Because reasons. Poor car, it was getting so close to completion and then victory was snatched away. Run this up to here. And then this this mess. How are we going to do this? Oh, actually, I should do it like this. Connect it up here. And just across like that. Should have done that in the first place, but that's fine. That's all working. Hopefully that's enough to do with it. I would be surprised if it wasn't. Because this is quite a small section. But as you can see, it they're categorized differently. They're different colors. That one's a weird... orange-peach color. And this one's a weird off-green. So they are differently categorized for whatever reason. They just don't actually have different terms. They're just... engine engines and not engine engine bits. Or whatever. Right, let's move on. Now we've got to start accounting for the fact here that we're going to have belts coming back through here delivering finished cars. Like, so we could just have the belt running here and then have the input belt going here, but we might want to use this importer here. So I'm going to leave a bit more space, so... We'll run it like this. And also because we have to account for the export sections, we will have to have a little bit of clearance from the wall anyway, so... Gotta take that into account. So, the belt will run along like this. And there's just enough room to squeeze through there, and then it can go wherever it feels like in this section here. And we can continue this on, connect it up. That's all fine. Money's stable. 
but a number of cars is dropping. So at this point, I think we're, we're losing money, but it's being covered by the fact that we're just selling cars anyway. All right, now we'll let's spend a lot of money by paying for the rent of this thing. Also, I notice we're getting power issues again. Let's go expand the power plants a bit. I'd like to keep it in, in like, nice order, but we got to account for this thing and being clever in terms of space usage. Also, where is that output thing gone? Can't even see it anymore, because I was just thinking to check where it actually was. It is there. Okay, because I was just thinking what the, what I could have done is have a gap, seeing as there's a 4 here. I could have shifted this, but it still would have blocked that, so don't feel too bad about it. I could have changed it. I could have had these going lengthways and done that for the rest of it or something. Doesn't matter. Probably. Hopefully. Are there any other importers around here? Now I think about it, there's not that much, like, supplying things here. A little bit difficult, because we got rid of that one, there's nothing here. Oh, there is one there and one there, so it's not it's not terrible. Power stuff. For the sake of keeping things looking nice and neat and the fact that I know I will need... Got to have it facing the right way. Why did I even turn them around? I must do that thing where, like, rotation is continuous across all structures, so it's like, I pick up that and I rotate that, and then... Oh, well, I don't know then. I thought that was what it was, but it wasn't. Who knows what happened. But yeah, seeing as I know I will have to expand somewhere else anyway, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna make it look neat instead, because I like it looking neat. There we go. Huge array of power generation. That for the moment is dealing with our demands, but not quite. Nearly out of cars now, and yeah, the money's... It's going to start to drop as soon as we've run out of cars. I'm actually going to... Let's put it up to 5%, seeing as... Seems like 0% is enough to drop the, the car number quite significantly. Right. Now to work on this thing here. Let's start by doing all the belts. We'll get that all in place first, so that we know what we're doing with that. All the belts that will be running around the edge of the factory to get the cars to the export sections. Bit expensive in terms of belts, especially considering they have a power consumption. I hope they, maybe they don't have a power consumption while they're not operating. That would be lovely. Probably not true, though. And then running this way. And then this way, but for the moment we can't continue with that because this thing's still operating. We could actually send this somewhere else so that it can continue to run. Have it go around here, sneak by this bit, deliver to that one. Oh, it's got to cross over. Apparently you can cross over belts though. Someone told me you can do that, but that just seems like a recipe for disaster. Because like, if I wanted to run these to an export thing here right now, I couldn't be able to because these are backed up. I mean, maybe there's a system in place where like, uh, if there's a crossover, the cars won't actually block it, which would be nice. We could try testing that. But we've already come up with a system that works without crossing over, so I guess we can just continue with it. Yeah, this is all fine for now. We'll fix it. We'll, we'll sort it out when it comes to it. Once we've actually got cars coming down here, we'll disconnect this and sort that all out. And then I guess we can remove this. Though I'm, I'm worried about doing that, because this is our, our most sort of... This is definitely going to earn us money, whereas this one is a little bit more variable. It's like if I break a section, then it could take a very long time for things to work all the way around and stuff. Also, if I'm expanding things, like, I'm going to quadruple this, and then this, and then this, and about by the time I'm here, it's like, okay, so now I've got three times the factory, then I have, like, the car consumption, production even, and until I actually upgrade this, we're going to really start to struggle. Anyway, let's get, actually get on with things here. So we have a few different steps to deal with. Everything's a two or a three, so that's nice. Let's... We'll have it along here, pretty much flush with this side, or as far as we can with this belt being here. So first we need two exports, so I guess we'll do that. One. Two. Next up we need three quality checks. So we'll just have these right here and hopefully that's fine. We'll have a little bit more space actually. Just because we might have some issues with belts later, having them line up nicely. Three quality checks. Next up we have two electronics. 
one and oh, we have to do this one like this so we can split properly. Following that, that was electronics. Next we have aircon. Oh, I forgot about dashboard. There it is. It's right there. Oh, it's actually the next thing in, in the steps. Perfect. Except I don't know the ratio. Crap. It seems to be pretty quick. It says it takes one minute, whereas aircon takes two minutes. So I'm get it's probably only a one that we need. But it, it must be. So... Well, what I'll do is I'll I'll put it like that. And then we can expand it later if we need to, though we probably don't need to. So that's dashboard. Aircon, we need two of. Yep. Two aircon. Next up. We need two windscreen. There we go, an actual nice one. Followed by that, we need seats, three of them. One, two, three. For seats, we need two horns. One, two. And before that, we need two lights. One, two. And that is everything. Just needs connecting now. All right. So we'll have a belt that runs through here and does that and then goes this way. And this goes straight into that, but also off into that. And then this goes into that. And that can all cross over nicely, as far as I can tell. That goes to there. This goes to here. This goes to here. This also goes to here. Nope, not quite. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And then this one goes to here. That's all fine. That goes there. That goes there. And then that goes there. And also there. And then that goes there. And then these. Like that. Like that. Oops. Ah, not that. No. Like that and like that. And that's it. That's enough for it to be functional. Get an importer. Stupid thing. Might we want a second one here. There is another import thing there. We'll see how this one fares. Might be alright. Right, conveyor. Run it. We'll go up here first and then run it along this line. Send it this way. That was a bit wasteful. Up to here. And here. And then this one. And, oh, there's also one hiding over here. Let's just connect that up like that. That'll be fine. That's all good. And all we need are the belts. Uh, this can... Hmm. How to do it? Well, definitely not like that. That doesn't work. Run it up this way first. Is it to there it needs to go? Yeah, it is. And that is that. Here come the cars. We'll see how they fare when they get to the end. And we'll suddenly be getting quite a bit more money. I'm not sure actually how much more money we'll be getting. I mean, these are the moment. What's this? Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Quality check. Replace it. Why, why can't I replace it? Build the quality check. I need it. Build a thing. How many things do I have to delete before I can put this in? And the conveyor's all replaced. There we go. And here it is. This is the new car. It's got like one extra thing. It's got aircon. That's that's the only difference. I'm gonna call it the, the car for air. There we go. Fancy they'll think it's a fancy name, it literally just means it's got aircon. There we go. Did that work? I think that worked. Car designs. There's now only one. What's what's happened? Is the other one going to turn up again? There is now only one car design. What, what happened to the other one? It's still here. Look, look, it's right there. It's going in the... Wait a minute. Is it just being deleted? Like when these ones... Oh yeah, when these ones sell, they also just... Vanish. I swear I saw these doors opening. Oh, it's just when I zoomed out, they're open. Yeah, it's, it's going. 
it's just no longer on the list of car designs. Which is a problem, because now I can't mess with its price. Oh dear. Well, hopefully they all sell then. We will have to see. Okay, right, well, we should probably shut this down then, before the cars just stop selling forever. But we have it. We now have our cars being made. This is supposed to be able to produce them at one every... 120 seconds of in-game time, so one every two minutes, so one, 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 that sort of rate, but it won't be that fast because we haven't put all the robots in everything, and so there will be some sections that aren't actually running at full speed. And last episode I, I, I said I, we could give it a good old try and see if we could manage to get the whole thing running in the episode, and I was just about to celebrate the fact that I had managed to get everything running within the episode's time, and I looked at the clock, and we are very, very over time. So technically no, but technically yes. We did it in the episode, but that's only because the episode went quite a bit longer than it was supposed to. But there it is. We've got our basic thing, now we've got a quadruple production. And then a little bit extra as well. So we've got to go through everything and just add in more, change the, the ratios, and also start to factor in the manufacturing areas, which is going to be quite possibly a bit of a challenge, especially seeing as I don't know what the ratios are, so we'll have to just work that out as we go. But with that, I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.